All right, this is my how to make a bar out of a whiskey barrel and a wine glass holder out of a ladder video. <laughs> um, I tried to videotape it along the way to show you how I did it. Um, uh, we're redoing the house and we're doing it ourselves. As you can see, there's wood everywhere. Um, it's farmhouse shabby chic. So I had seen a, um, a wine barrel or a whiskey barrel bar in a store and I went back to buy it and it was sold out. So I thought, well, I can make it. It actually wasn't, that wasn't the hard part. Um, I found a barrel and I cut into it and that was pretty simple, but it was the ladder where I did the wine glasses. That was a little tricky just because every time you um, saw into the steps, especially an old ladder, you have a tendency to split. So I had to do a lot of Gorilla Wood glue in there, but it's nice and sturdy and it came out really nice. So I'm just going to show you. I would say it's a short video, but nothing I do is short. <laughs> so here's how I did it. of little faith. I gotta clean it up. That's some thick wood. Dang, I'm so proud of myself. Got a man down. The guy at the keg store said if you wet um, the barrel and get it wet again, it'll expand and make your bands nice and tight. So if you get a barrel when you're done, wet it, or you can even wet it before, but I don't know how that would saw the wood if you wet it before. But if you wet it um, and get it nice and saturated, it'll absorb the water and the bands will get tighter. That's something good. It's gonna be a cool bar. We'll see. Doing this, and you make it look old where you cut it. I already did this like three times. And that's just watered down paint. First, I did brown, now I'm doing black. There's white. So I need something to make wine racks inside the barrel and I thought I could use PVC because you're not going to see it. Just something to hold the bottles. So it's got to be 4 inches and it got to be by 7 inches. I hate the black. It's cheaper. I was going to spray black anyway, so that's a good thing. 4 by 10 is 18 by 1. And that 4 by 10 is 23. I'm going to get the black. Alright, so the PVC is 4 inches. And we need 7 inch in length. So we're going to cut those. Alright, that is 1. Got all that to go. <laughs> So I sanded them because there were some little plastic pieces hanging off. So I'm carrying this to sand it. And I also sanded where I'm going to put the cement so it can adhere better. So I'm going to wipe them down and then I'm going to start gluing them. So I'm PVC cement and I'm going to start gluing these. I'm going to glue them in sets of three because that's how many can fit in the openings at the barrel. And then once I get them all in, I can glue them together in one big block. So I'm going to get started. All right, so these are all my pieces that are cut. That's an extra piece, but I'm going to paint it anyway, in case I need it. And then I'm um, spray painting these black as well because my wine rack has to be uh, like an inch and a half off the base of the barrel. So I'm just going to give these a coat of paint. With my Rust-Oleum, just so everything's a nice same black color. The PVC in. I should have videotaped glued it in, but I put it in 
section by section and then I use the PVC cement um, in between each layer and it dries so fast. Now it's like one big piece. And I gotta put the lights in. We're almost done. Okay, so I got this box of remote control lights off of Amazon. Um, they're magnetic. They have a magnetic strip on the back and they're chargeable. They're not battery operated. Um, you charge them with the USB um, and the remote control. And I want to put them, now that we've got all the PVC in the bar, I want to light up the inside of the bar. So I'm going to put one in the back of all the PVC. I'm probably going to put one on top and then I'm going to put one on the bottom. All right, so I'm just doing some projects with the bar and the ladder. Um, I'm going to print them out in vinyl on my Cricut. We got the F for the glass for the ladder. Um, wine a little, laugh a lot. We're going to print that out for the chalkboard for the top of the barrel. And then I think, I'm not sure, I'm going to print it out and see how it looks for its bar. I was thinking of putting on the glass um, for the top of the bar. So we're going to print them out with the Cricut in vinyl so it'll cut it for me and then we'll rub it on the uh, glass and see how it looks. The next step, this is the glass for the top of the barrel bar. Um, what I did is I used my Cricut and I made vinyl lettering. So right now it's wrong side up. I did it in reverse, so I'm going to put it on the glass and then I can flip the glass over so it won't scratch. That's the next step in our barrel bar. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. I think the lettering looks good. This is my deal today. I'm going to explain to you something. I paid 20 bucks for that ladder. Yeah, it's missing a leg. Don't you worry about it. She wanted five, and I said, it's missing a leg. And she's like, oh, you could have it for three then. Hey, if you're pissy about something, try to take apart a ladder. <laughs> That'll do it for you. Splinter, look, two in one spot. One, two. Son of a nutcracker. <laughs> done. Well, not done. I paint it, but it's a part. Messing with the wrong girl, mister. <laughs> what I went ahead and did is I drew out where all the glasses are going to go. These are for the rocks glasses. Um, these are for all the wine glasses. These are for shot glasses. And then I have um, a rake. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use the rake. It's not cut in stone. This goes up here like this, and that will hold champagne. So I just wanted to show you how I marked everything out. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to drill holes, and then I'm going to route the backs deeper so they don't lean forward, so they tilt back. And then I'm going to have the wine glasses go in instead of straight back on an angle just because it is going to lean a little after I put it where it goes against the wall. It's still going to lean so I don't want the glasses to fall out so I'm doing it on an angle. So I'm going to go cut all those out and I'll show you what it looks like. just want to show you what the ladder looks like now that we have um, two more coats of paint all the holes are drilled 
Uh, I went ahead and sanded it after I paint, gave it a couple more coats of paint so it has that shabby look, you know? So we're just gonna load it. And I have to make something for here. This has nothing because the glasses sit on top there and the wine glasses start there. So I just need to fill this space. I'm thinking something with a monogram. But that's where we're at. All right, so I got these for the ladder. And I went ahead, it, it's a roll of lights. And I taped them to the back of the ladder. This way the ladder um, that's gonna hold the glasses will be nice and lit up. So I went ahead and did that. I'm gonna plug it in. Then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm gonna start putting all the glasses on it and load the bar. I picked this frame up um, and I thought I would do a monogram. This is just a printout. I wanted to see about the size and stuff. So I just wanna show you what I did when I had showed you. Um, I showed it to you in black and white. Uh, I wanted to see for size wise, but this is what I did. This is the front of the picture frame. Um, this is just some fishing line and I glued it to the very top of it. I only used the front of the frame. I printed it out a vinyl in my Cricut and I adhered it to the back. So that's what I did to fill that space that was right in the middle of the ladder. That's it. All right, that's the finished product. That is the whiskey barrel bar and the ladder wine glass holder. I think it came pretty good. Added some accessories. We added the towel on the side. And a bottle opener. I'm not really sure what I want to do with the top yet. It might be too cluttered. I keep moving everything around. And then here's the ladder, all the glasses. And then I got um, two old rakes. I don't know if I mentioned this in the video. I got them at a thrift store and I just, um, I took one apart and one I cut and I just painted them white, like white, washed white, just so it blended. That's what's holding all the champagne glasses. I'm gonna show you what inspired my ladder though. So first ladder I bought at a yard sale, I did that. Put it on my ceiling, I thought it looked really cool. So I can change the greens for the seasons and stuff or take them all off, it looks pretty cool, right? Anyway, that is my farmhouse little bar setup I wanted to show you.